Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Hyper AI 2.1. Discover the latest features. Now take note, I have a video created before which is covering Hyper 1.0, which is going to be on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. It's going to be a really awesome video. So where to get started for this one? First things first, you're going to have 100 credits if you're going to register for this one, which on my end, I already based it up. So that's going to be the free trial for this video, 100 credits, which is not going to be refillable or refreshed. So that's going to be 100 credits one time only. By the way, for the next prices, it's going to be this one right there, which is going to be refreshed every month. Again, guys, for the free trial, there is no refresh for the credits. It's a one time use only. That being said, let's go back on the dashboard. So for this one, these are going to be the different creations from other creators. As you can see right there, you can make anyone move. Sometimes there's going to be distortions, because still, this is still AI. I just want to highlight that we're using the free trial, so some of this part right here, or some of our generation may be in low quality. Anyway, that being said, this is going to be a Batman. As you can see right there, it's a really awesome video. And this next example right here is making a woman dance. How awesome, right? Especially this giant right here. That is pretty awesome, especially the guys right there walking behind it. Anyway, I'm going to teach you everything I know about this one, so let's get started. So, where to start? So, you're going to see your applications here, starting from text to image, text to video, all the way down to video to video. So, we're just going to skip text to image because that's going to be the most basic one, and go straight to text to video. So, take a try for that one, open it up, choose the feature you're going for, that will text to video. Make sure you're going to be on Hyper 2.1. So I'm just going to type this one. A woman wearing a red dress. Let me just change that one to black. I want to see black. Walking the streets of Tokyo. Now before you click on create, there are some settings here where you can change the seed, the duration, standard or smooth. That's going to be by your own choosing. The aspect ratio is here. And basically the duration of the time is going to be right there. Also, there is going to be an option to create in public where you can showcase your work to other other creators. Also, there is going to be a prompt here or an option to enhance your prompt, given that the AI will help you be a very comprehensive prompt user. So let me just click on create for this one and I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. So this is going to be our image generation and I see that there are some minor distortions on the face because again guys, this is going to be a free trial. So what can we do here? You just need to regenerate and regenerate if you have unlimited credits. However, at our end, we have limited. Given that, I have also tried this one, a cinematic shot of the detective walking on a street dimly lit. Now, I guess this is much better than the one of the girl wearing a black dress walking in the streets of Tokyo. So I have used this one. We have used cinematic shot. So that's going to be a key note for you. If you're trying to generate in hyper, make sure you use your keywords, especially this one. Cinematic shot is really awesome. Makes you more realistic, right? So, what can we do next here? Given that this is going to be your video, you can simply download it by that option right there. With one click of a button, you'll be downloading it on your computer with no problem. However, I want you to take note that you can only download it if you have the watermark. So if you have the free trial, you're going to download everything with the watermark. And then if you have the paid subscription, you can remove the watermark. Moreover, you can vary the prompt for this one, regenerate the prompt, save this as you like, and basically, you can delete it, or you can share it right there. Now, let's move over to another example. So I'm going to type back there, going in home. I want to try another example here. I'm going to type in a guy wearing a red shirt in a park. I'm going to make sure that's going to be simple as that. And I'll get back to you once it's here. Now, welcome back to the video. This is going to be our output. It's much more better compared from the one earlier, the girl walking in a red dress, in the black dress rather. So this is much more better. So what can we do next here? We can upscale this one by simply downloading your photo and then going back on this one right there, choose video enhancer. As you can see, I have already tried it out. Just enable that one right there. Simply click on create and you're going to have this one, a much more high quality audio video. And basically, it's a 1080 pixelized dimensions. Now, let's try some other examples here. We're going to move over to image to video, which is going to be this one. So I have tried it out. This is still in the battle phase, so we only can use one. 
but it's gonna be available in hyper 1.5 or latest version you, you can add middle frame last frame and basically have some fun as of now we only have one option the first frame and basically for this one we gonna type in a lion in the safari simply click on enter and i'll see you once it's here so welcome back to the video and that is gonna be the outfit video how awesome right there is very minimal to zero distortions however i'm gonna show you some errors that i've encountered for example this one right here i have uploaded this photo as it is and then type in a woman taking a selfie however it gave me this one so i want you to take note that if you have the free trial you're gonna have a little less quality however that doesn't mean that you can get the quality you're looking for such like this one right here again this is a free trial video how awesome right so it's just gonna be a trial and error option and by the way guys i have generated another example of a woman walking in a red dress in the cities of tokyo this is much better though we're still looking at her backside however there's a very minimal to zero distortion especially on the background and the hair we also have this example of an uh, image to video as you can see originally it's an image and they're currently now moving we also have this one right here i have created before and added a very detailed prompt so the key here is adding a very comprehensive prompt to get your desired results so let's get on the next feature going back on home right there clicking this one we're gonna focus right now on video to video so basically what is video to video in video to video you can really change what you're looking for here for example if i upload this one right there the one we have earlier you can vary the region it's like in painting option and other video generation tools much like my journey the in painting option right there is really terrific so let's just wait for it to load up and this is how it should look like you can choose which region you want to vary for example that one right there and basically type in here a woman or rather a old woman simply click on create which is technically free for now and i'll get back to you once it's here so welcome back to the video this is what we have though there's no face it's still looking back that is an older woman version also i have tried this one this is gonna be superman as you can see right there earlier it's batman Thinking about this one still we're still using the battle face since it's technically free for the video to video tool the quality is still not there yet however the process of how to do this one is basically this all right i just want you to highlight that one so you can keep in mind that if you want to get those quality you're looking for go for the page description still this is still everything on battle face now before we move on on the next features right there i want to regenerate some of the things we did earlier for example the things we did and generate earlier there's a few distortions right like this one right here this one is a bit distorted and this one right here is having a major defection so i'm gonna try regenerate this and i'm gonna show you a little tip to fix these generations so let's go on the home page right there click on the text now for this one i'm gonna type in a young woman so this is gonna be the same prompt right so a young woman wearing a red dress walking on the streets let me just fix that one of new york so the idea here is basically the same earlier we're having a black dress red dress whatever you may find for you so this is the thing with earlier right the only difference is that the one earlier is in japan and it's wearing a black dress so the different thing we're going to do right now is enabling enhanced prompt making sure that this is enabled and simply click on create i'll see you once it's here so welcome back to the video this is what we have here and without even playing it you can see right here even in the background of the buildings the persons on the background are really awesome i want to highlight the dress right there now if i click on play right here you can see everything is zero to minimal distortions now i know that some of them are gonna be still distorted since we're still using the free trial However, comparing it with the one earlier, with the one with the black dress, this is a huge improvement. So my tip for you, always enhance your prompt. That's gonna be my number one tip for you when you're using Hyper, especially if you're having the free trial. So let's try some more here. Let's try to regenerate some of the ones earlier. Now we're back here, right? Let me just remove that one from earlier. Let's just generate the one taking a selfie. So that will be image to video. Click on the image right there. Look for the one that's taking a selfie. 
should be around here somewhere, that woman right there, and basically describe our video. A woman taking a selfie. So that will be like this. Make sure that this enhanced prompt is enabled. And I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. You still remember the one earlier when the head really spin in distortions like a dryer, right? So I'm just gonna play this one right here. You're gonna see right there that it's gonna be zero to minimal distortions. I wanna highlight how awesome this is, especially comparing it with the one earlier. The blinking, the smiling, the tit are perfect. Even the zoom icon, the eyes are right there. I wanna highlight that this is also came originally from a photo. That's really awesome. So the technique for you, the tip for you is going to be enhancing your prompt to have a very comprehensive prompt and have a better results. Now speaking of comprehensive prompt, I'm going to share another workaround for this one. Let me just go back on the prompt bar from earlier. Perfect. Now once we're back here, I'm just going to go back on text of video because I want to share something very important. Since I've said that the better the comprehensive prompt, the more detailed it is, the better the results, right? So without even using the enhanced prompt right there, I'm going to show you a workaround. Let's go on my favorite website. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be ChatGPT. I'm just going to copy this prompt right there. Basically ask ChatGPT create a character following description, but this is for Leonardo. That's perfectly fine, even though it's going to be focused on Leonardo. I have a video about Leonardo, so please check it out. So I just described a girl named Charlize, 23 years old. She is a supermodel. And basically copy the prompt i'm gonna go back on hyper welcome back to the video this is gonna be hyper i'm just gonna place this one right there now i can now show you the difference i'm gonna remove the enhanced prompt i know that i'm saying that enhanced prompt is better but it works best if you have a very simple prompt but if you have a very comprehensive prompt a very detailed one like this one you really don't need this so i'm gonna click on create and i'll see you once it's here so welcome back to the video. This is what we have here. As you can see right there, this is the prompt from earlier. Let me just play it for you guys. And as you can see right here, I don't see any distortions. So please let me know if there's going to be distortions here or very minimal, right? So comparing it with the one from earlier, this few examples right here are near to perfect. How awesome is that, right? Now speaking of the things we did earlier, I want to regenerate some more here. I'm going to go for now video to video. I'm gonna upload something, this one right here. This is the one we created, right? The old man walking in a dimly lit street. I'm just gonna vary region for that one. So I'm just gonna regenerate the ones earlier and I'm gonna show you a different thing I'm gonna do here. So as you can see right there, there is no enhanced prompt option. I'm just gonna make sure this is varied properly all the way through the person. And I'm just gonna type in here, a older woman or an old woman. And basically for this one, walking, down the streets of New York on a dimly lit, uh, let's just go for a road, cinematic style. So as you can see right here, rather than having a very simple prompt, since we don't have an enhanced prompt right there, I have made it sure that this is detailed. So that's going to be the secret for you. I'm going to click and create and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is the one we have here and as you can see, Though it's not still perfect, you can picture a woman in the background. How awesome is that, right? Coming from a video of a person or an older guy, right now it's a woman. That's near to perfect. Now to wrap things up for this one, let me just upload something here and I want to show you something really awesome. Remember using the video to video, right? I want to show another example so we can have multiple examples on this tutorial. And I want to show you that the power of AI really differs or really depends on the paid subscription sometimes and a little workaround can give you the same results on the free trial or near to the closest results on the paid subscriptions. Perfect, welcome back to the video. This is the one we created earlier, remember? So I'm just going to vary the region on the woman and simply type in a guy. Simple as that. So I'm going to click on this one and I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. And honestly, I have generated three of them one for this one that's going to be generated and have distortion. This one right here is a different design. This is around the painting, as you can see right there. However, this is the closest we have here. Even though the lips are a bit distorted, I want to highlight the hair, the body, the movement of the arms, and take note, guys, 
Originally, this video was from a girl. This one right here. Now, before we wrap things up, this is the images we have here. This is my most favorite one because there are really zero distortions for this. Especially this one right here. As you can see right there, earlier, this is really weird. The head is spinning, everything is distorted, but for now, it's really perfect. Awesome, right? And now let's check on the templates. So these are going to be the templates. You can categorize them by hot, meme, dance, portrait, and so on and so forth. You can make someone change its face, for example. Monster Morph, as you can see right there. We also have Kissing Video, which is going to be the most famous one right here. How about Dancing Video right there? How awesome is that, right? Now, one of the best features here is going to be the face swap. For example, I'm going to use the stock images they have here. I'm going to use that one right there. And then for the second image, I'm going to use this one, as you can see here, or just use a sample image they have. I'm going to go for this woman right here. So we have a video, we have an image, and basically for this one, I can now simply click on create. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be your result, and as you can see, it's going to be face swap. It's a really good method because if you can see right there, there is very minimal to zero distortions. Now let's try another sample here, which is going to be the kissing method. Should be this one right there. So I'm just going to upload an image, which should be this one. And then the second image should be around here. I'm going to go for this one right there. And I'll see you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. This is going to be our images. And this is now when I play it. As you can see right there, the distortions are very minimal. To be honest, personally, I am amazed how powerful and awesome this AI is. Imagine if you miss someone and you would just want to hug them. Virtually, you can do this. It's really awesome, right? So again, guys, if you want to download your output, simply click on that arrow right there. But take note, for the free trial, you're going to get that watermark. Now, that being said, we already used our credit right there, but I'm still going to show you some of the templates that I use here. For example, this Trump dance right there, you can make anyone dance. For example, that here, as you can see, Superman is dancing. Uh, this is, I think, Elon Thomas dancing. And so much more. Again, there are so much templates to choose from here. You have this one right there. You have this guy. You have this guy right there. It's really awesome. This is going to be the Animal Morph, which is actually a really good one. So please check it out. Especially for this guy right there. This is, I think, a scientist from way before has changed into a lizard. This is going to be a bull working. And right now, it's a tiger or a cheetah. So that being said, there are so much templates to choose from here. Just take note that your credit might be limited for the free trial. That being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.